This is Modern Homesteading. Just when I thought we'd close the lid on this, I have a Baco Axe Update. So, I'm a couple days late in this, but uh, the video that many of you guys watched that I put up, Baco Axe, the worst I've ever used, uh, has got their attention. Uh, they contacted me about 48 hours afterwards uh, through every um, uh, social media site that I have uh, with a letter uh, that I'll share with you today, uh, just here in a second. So, uh, why do I keep going on about this? I, I don't want to keep going on about this, but if you remember from the first video, this is kind of an experiment. This is the first time in history, well that sounds a little grandiose, but uh, first time in history that um, uh, we the people uh, have the power through social media, through YouTube, uh, to affect change. We're seeing it politically, we're seeing it economically, we're seeing it in ways that we don't fully comprehend now. And this is just one small experiment that we can play out. Those of us who are kind of like-minded and are tired of manufacturers producing rubbish, passing it off as quality. Uh, we have, um, I'm done with it. I know that many of you guys are. I read it from the comments every day. Uh, we're all like-minded. We want quality value products. We're willing to pay money for something that is good. Where we don't, we, I guess we're, what we're tired of is buying things that appear to be good only to get them home and they fail. So, an update on this ax and I'll tell you a little story. I had a conversation with uh, the head of marketing at Snap-on Tools who is the sister company to Baco, and I'll read that. But I'm just going to read just a little excerpt from the letter that I received. Dear Mr. Wrangler Star, Mr. Contrary to your interpretation, we do care. And we are willing to look into the possibilities of further product development with the acts on which you made the review. What he's referring to is that um, I mentioned in the video, and I think I spoke for a lot of you guys, that, that we would be willing to pay a little bit extra for something that was really a great product. Um, that, that it's not always about price, and that's what he's alluding to. He goes on to write. This is written from, um, well, I'll keep his name private. A big wig. We just saw your video, Baco Axe, the worst axe I've ever seen, which revealed to us why we had not heard from you since your previous video, Baco Axe Update. He's providing both links. We apologize for the fact that you have not received a reply to your emails. Due to the problem only now discovered, thanks to your video, in our email system, it will be, it will be repaired as quickly as possible. But in any case, we would like to organize for you to contact a person with the Snap-on Industrial Group, which is our sister company in charge of the distribution of Baco in the USA. So they, they don't deal a lot with the, with the, the guys that I'm get, talking to here who wrote the letter don't deal a lot with the US markets, primarily in Europe. However, they do distribute through the Snap-on Tool Company, which is, many of you know, one of my favorites. I have been using Snap-on Tools since I was in high school. They're the finest hand tools in the world. So Baco apparently and Snap-on, or apparently, are uh, together. So I called the Snap-on head of marketing, and we had a conversation, uh, a nice conversation. He's very professional. Uh, he was not very thrilled about the video, uh, and I'm not surprised. Uh, and he's, he said he, they want to uh, make it right. They want to take care of it. They want to see the act. So he said, why don't you ship it back to me and, and we will uh, send it back to the lab and see what's going on. And I said, well, issue me a call tag and, and have it picked up and we'll get it back out to you. And that will be picked up tomorrow. So I'll send that back up tomorrow. So uh, I quizzed him a little bit, uh, or, or he quizzed me a little bit about the, he asked if there was an origin of the act, where it came from. And, and I looked on it, I didn't see anything. What he told me was that they originally purchased uh, a company called the Sandvig. Sandwig? Sandwig. I have to ask Mrs. Wranglestar how to say that properly. The Sandvig company, which was, he told me their axes were originally made in Sweden. Super high quality, of course. And then they changed to Baco, or Baco acquired them. They moved, they outsourced the manufacturing to Spain. And so, he said there were some issues with the Spanish manufacturers. And that uh, perhaps that I received one of those axes. So I don't know. I'm just relating to what I was told. So uh, that was the extent of it. Um, so we'll have it picked, I will have it picked up or it will be picked up, they will have it picked up tomorrow. And I'll tell you how it goes. I, I don't know where this is gonna go and uh, 
that, that's that. So uh, one thing that is encouraging is that all of the letters that you wrote and uh, the videos that I have done certainly have their attention because I mean you to, to be honest with it with you I mean the truth of the matter is is, is it a company um, that ignores uh, uh, active uh, YouTube activists or, or web activists who are really active on forums or, or producing videos especially if you're talking about a channel uh, that gets into the hundred thousand subscribers is committing suicide uh, because if you search, uh, if you search Baco Axe on any of the major brow browsers, Bing or Yahoo or Google, uh, these videos will come up on the front page. So anyone who searches is, and most likely, I mean, for me, and I think most people, and that what's trending is when we before we buy something, we, I like to watch a video on it, and not from the manufacturer. I want to watch a video on someone who's actually purchased it with their own money, not someone who's gotten it for free and is. Um, well, I think we all know how that works. So, what more could you ask? I, I think that they've stepped up. They've definitely shown interest. I don't, uh, we'll, and we'll see what happens. So, so that's enough, N enough of that. But I am excited to share with you uh, something that, uh, it won't be today, but I'll give you a little teaser. On the fire ground, hand crews and friends, different people that are involved in wildland fire, have been talking a lot the last few years about a small manufacturer called Rogue, R-O-U-R-O-G-U-E, Rogue Tools. I keep hearing it come up and I'm starting to see their tools on the fire lines and guys raving and raving about it. Last Tuesday night at Drill, uh, one of the guys that volunteers with us is a, is a full-time engine boss with DNR, he's a state, with a state, uh, he's a state firefighter. And he was going on and on about uh, his new rogue tool uh, that he's using and how good they are. The fun I said the funny thing about that is I've got myself a few that I'm in testing right now. So why am I testing these or why am I sharing this with you? Uh, tools are a huge component of homesteading. They are for me. I mean, they're just required. And there's a huge demand from my subscribers and for myself to, to find high quality tools. I mean, I am so sick and tired of going, you can go to a true value, you can go to your big box hardware store, and I often do, and I walk through the massive tool collection with all the rakes and the shovels and all of the things, the axes, and it's, most of it is absolute rubbish. It's just, it, it isn't any good. It's poor materials, it's manufactured to look really good, it doesn't perform very well, it's not made by people who use tools. So, when I find something that is extraordinary, of super high quality for a good price, and that's an American-made company, I always stand behind that and I share it. I, I like to use it for myself. I like to let you guys know about it. And it's coming up, I'll just show you a couple of the Rogue tools uh, that I've been testing right here. What's so interesting about this company is that it's a small company, just a couple people. Each one of these is, is handmade. And they're all made from recycled Plow discs, plow discs, you know, that they use for pulling behind tractors. I don't know a lot about farming like that, but you know, the, you've seen them all before. That's why they have this shape, that natural shape right there is the shape of that disc. So here, this one has been ground into and shaped into a rake and a good rake. Look at, look at that. This one here is a, one of their proprietary tools and one of my favorites. So. I'll be, uh, we are in testing with those. I have uh, four of the big hand tools. Mrs. Wranglestar is testing the small tools and we will be uh, pr uploading a video about that very soon. But I'm really excited about this and I can't, um, I, I can't wait to share it with you because they are just a great, great company and great tools. They're also oh, they're producing tools not only for, far for gardening and farming but for, for wildland use. That's it. We'll see, we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm excited to share those rogue tools with you. Man, I'm really impressed. I really like them. So, what's going on? Viva La SFC. That's a clue. Perhaps you might want to look a little bit closer. What else do we have going on? Lots going on in the homestead. We've got a gardening video coming up. Mrs. Wrangler Star and I worked together today in the orchard planting walnuts and strawberries. A very kind of an unorthodox or a new fangled way to do strawberries that I'll be sharing with you. Uh, there's some life in the habitat snag. I'll take you down there for that and lots of different things. Timber framing. Many of you guys are lamenting the fact that 
There hasn't been any timber framing for a while. Enough, enough of this wildland nonsense. We want timber framing. Well, should be coming up soon. Uh, I've got new chains on order. I needed some ripping chains and they should be here hopefully at the end of the week and we can get started back on that. But um, man, I'm busier than a one-arm paper hanger. So do what I can. Did you click the thumbs up? Uh, if you haven't, I invite you to do that. It's a way you can support the channel and I would appreciate it. It's a way you can say thank you. And, and that's that. So we'll see you guys on the, oh, Right over there, over there, is more homesteading. Click on there for more modern homesteading. If you're a new subscriber, for those of you who are mobile, I will put the recommended video in the subject heading down below. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.